people in that social media skit ecosystem, and then there's people on the outside of it. Into fruition. Even when they were talking about the app, I said, we don't need that shit. And you know why? Because mother like to get over. The other day, a female came in there with her three kids, trying to buy all of them meals with her reward points. I said, oh baby, we ain't doing that. She's talking about, what you mean? I earned it. I don't know if you earned that shit. All this scamming shit going on. Uh, you could have stole them reward points. I said, look, I'll give you one small free fry and you can get the f up out of here. The characters, I see it. You know, because what happens is for us, for this era to have that Friday kind of movie, we're going to have to unfortunately pull from our social media characters. If it comes together for this era and do do what it needs to do for comics, it gotta, it's gonna it be from, from a social media standpoint yeah. of characters that's living like the Country Wayne character, like Pale with Desi Banks. This will now become this era's Friday. The shift leader, it's a lot of cussing in the shift leader. Like uh, <laughs> they they monetize. Cussing. Yeah, but I'm saying with me, I'll top. And like, you can bleep cussing out. I ain't bleeping that. Shit. For fifty thousand a month, they, who getting fifty thousand a month? Them is low numbers. From like I'm thinking strictly talent, right? When you thinking on the side of like, yes, what you could get from because that, the, the that, reason yeah. why because what separates you and those guys is not talent. Because you will be upset looking up in a year now, two years. And some young comic come up, you inspired, and now he's doing that. What are he doing, the shift leader? Yeah, and <laughs> now he's going to another level. Now he's hey, next. look, the whole time you see how I was saying, like, yeah, man, just shit, man, time. You said another doing it. Now, hold up, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Privilege, because I'm saying getting money together is showing love. And I think we've confused the culture far too long with the showing love with the picture or showing love with the repost. I'm saying, yo, it, yo, bro, tell me how I can monetize my shift leader thing. Are you afraid to go by yourself out there as a comedian? Hell no. Now niggas want to loan me to death. Salute loans. Yeah, Salute. Exactly. It's my man loan. Yeah, it's my man too. Both loans. Old loan, new loan. Both <laughs> okay, loan. okay, okay. Yeah, All ops must know it's up there and it's stuck there, nigga. When it's up there, man, it's stuck there. Shut up. This episode is brought to you by Prize Picks, the fantasy sports platform that's changing the game for people like us. With Prize Picks, you can test your knowledge with picking over and under for your favorite player stats across a wide variety of sports. Think football, baseball, basketball, and beyond. So why wait? Jump into Prize Picks right now and bring more excitement to game day. Whether you're cheering from the stands or the couch, Prize Picks adds that extra layer of fun for sports excitement. Again, my slogan, why would you put something on the game when you could put something on the name? Let's get into those picks and start winning with prize picks today. IUTP code. Let's get back to the show. Sean Rock. This circumstance with a couple of YouTube individuals ended up in pure violence. What, what the reason it ended up in pure violence is because the guys, I guess there's a couple different YouTube crews that meet to do this 20 versus one, which is where they get 20 girls versus one dude or 20 dudes versus one Oh, okay, girl. okay. I've been seeing a little They take the that. rappers, right. right? They bring a rapper through and you bring the girl out on some old school game show kind of shit. Mm -hmm. This one was a 20 versus one for Krishan, so 20 men trying to get her attention. For some reason, they get into it about the content and saying, I want to release the content first. There's an argument about that. To the tune of a fight breaks out, footage comes out, guns are out. The reason I'm bringing this up is because the, the, the energy of this dude reminded me of the circumstance that I think sometimes you be like, it just was a weird energy. So the, it's a bigger guy, right? He get to fighting with the dude. He do some kind of spinning back. He missing everything. <laughs> Big boy missing everything he's yeah. doing. But he got hard. I can tell yeah. they brought him because he got hard. <laughs> and I know the secret. He ain't going out bad. Ooh-wee. And I know the secret because I come from hustling. I kept a fat dinger with me. Yeah. 
Keep a fat nigga with you. He hide everything. He got an ounce and a half of everything you want on this belly, in his neighbor. I come from this. Niggas mm-hmm. watching this right now saying he ain't lying. I had niggas riding with me with dope in they neighbors, under they flaps of they bellies, yeah. under they thigh. <laughs> Yeah, we riding around the hood like that because I come from a hood where they they had got at a certain point. Nigga, a little point. pantry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got shit everywhere. So, look, I'm going to tie it back in because I come from a hood where at a certain point they knew we were hustling. Mm-hmm. So, they sent the vice unit. They would just pull you over and search you, search you. We kept that fat nigga with it's hard to find that shit mm-hmm. on them big nigga. They get to sweating. So, I know they wonder how the fuck is guns in here. Fat boy... Some kind of way they done got the fight. Fat boy come out his shirt. Fat boy hit the spinning back fist, miss everything. Mm-hmm. Stumble a dude hit him too. Fucker, fucker. He handed them to him. Boy, dude run up and hit him with the gun. Boom. Knocked the tooth loose. Look, he he fall back like that. Get what big boy do. Yeah. See, I knew what he was going for. Big boy he got nothing on but some sweats. Big boy go like this here. In the sweat, because the sweat fall and die. Yeah. He flapped some of that fat old. <clears throat> Grab that Glock out of there. Look over that dude. Sah! And hit him dead in the bus his shit. Now, I'm saying that to say the whole time they was in there, that fat nigga had that gun under some kind of flap in his... What, thigh? I don't, bro, listen. Well, you don't know what to call it. Yeah. That nigga had to, some, I don't know where it come from, but I know the trick of the big man in the crew. Yeah. So, I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> what was we talking about? The YouTubers, Chris. Oh, okay, no, you okay, about, okay. Yeah. So, so, so you haven't saw that video of that. Oh, I ain't seen that. Well, have you uh, saw it? Yo, bro. Now them niggas going to jail and shit. Like. Content creation. And it started now. off because who wanted to release it who first? Who wanted to release the content yeah. first? How do y'all deal with that in this ecosystem that you in? Well, you know, like, sometimes people, like, if they come in to, like, shoot something, they had their own cameraman in recording certain stuff and stuff like that. But it's like, you know what I mean? It's to, it's a conversation, though. ain't to no point, like... I don't know. There might have been some jits, like some yeah. younger. You know what I'm saying? To Man, the them point. niggas got the squabbling in that dude. I, bro, I ain't, Teeth was on the ground. Blood was on the ground. I ain't pulling no strap on a nigga about who gonna release it first. <laughs> but you gotta remember what these things do now. Yeah, it's it's and they know. Of, yeah, they know. They know. Like, but I need these views first. Cause once you put it up, if you put it up niggas first, looking at this piece of content might be worth for 50, 60 grand. Mm-hmm. And like I'm saying, dude was kind of handling big boy. He was kind of handling big boy. But big boy. You know, big boy had that secret sauce with him. He didn't know it. <laughs> and he put it on. And he didn't know that big boy got the kind of mind where even though it's over, I ain't letting it go. Oh, yeah, big boy. The fight was up because they done drew down on him. So so dude, with kind of, now it's kind of over with, but he still, he looking at him like, no. Nah, yeah. Man. He looking at you. <laughs> Let he, me open that draw what, up, what, nigga. What, hey. Soon, soon that draw get open. Listen. Nigga, him. <laughs> they got the boy like his big boy still looking at him like, uh-uh. That ain't because you got me a little bit. Hey. And he looked at him, bro. And dude was kind of like thinking it's over. Man, he took it, and he, he done done this here before. Yeah. You can he, tell how he did. <laughs> he put that motherfucker just how you want it, with the side of Yeah. And dude didn't even see it coming. Boom, and looked at him. Dude did like, he couldn't do nothing. Right. What if he even get shot in here playing? Hey, so look, tell me this. Who put this out? I don't, I think the nigga <laughs> suing. The nigga who threw the, this is why. It's it, all about views, man. It's dangerous get these YouTube niggas trying to get together. To, to maximize their audience. Yeah. This shit getting dangerous trying to maximize your audience. That's why I champion y'all in this ecosystem because where do you see black dudes come together and be able to do this here? Man, I think it it, it gets it gotta get to a point where <clears throat> I think man, who you who you are is who you are. And sometimes like people can hide it, but you only can hide it for so long. You'll start sensing some stuff like, bro, like it's so much, bro. When people realize the fight ain't against, the fight ain't against us. It's against them. Like if we come together, we could knock all this shit down. But we can't come together with the suckers in position. That's mm-hmm. what's fucked up. That's why 
I kind of respect what Cat Williams done to a certain extent because it's like, yo, let's put let's let's put some conversations on the table. Like, let's have some conversations. Like, yo, what's going on? You know, whether y'all agree or disagree, but let's start these conversations among people. get to talking. People. Yeah. And then, bro, not just so much. That nigga interview was so interesting that that people were what You see the viewers? The views on it? Fuck. Like, bro, and I know me, like, I watch interviews. Like, I could I could get on YouTube and watch interviews. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I do that. Like, if it's stuff like that. But that interview, bro, I don't. I don't went back two or three times because it parts was he got some some funny shit in there like you watching a special. Yeah, you did what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, fifty million views, fifty million views. Now the interesting part in that is that Cat Williams don't get a back end on that, if any money. He ain't do it, but for I would have sent him a check though. Yeah, if it, just to be player. I'd have sent him a check. Bro. Just to be player. I'd sent him a check, bro. But you notice he said that during the interview what it was gonna do. But I think it's the year that. I think it's the year. Yo, man, he could have gave me an opportunity, but he didn't. I ain't mad at him, but he know that. And y'all need to know that behind the scenes, this is what's going on. But see, uh, you know how sometimes people ask, well, why such and such don't fuck with And so they're like, nah, ain't no problem. People used to just keep keep it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But now niggas like, nah, he do fuck shit. Yeah, and it is what it is. Yeah. Because I ain't this, got no problem with I just don't I don't rock like how he rock. And guess what? I don't feel as though we ever work together and it's youngsters following me. And so they find themselves in these rooms with these guys and they don't understand that a lot of tricks are being played. Mm -hmm. It's my duty to over communicate seeing the road travel. Seeing which way I went. It's my duty to let these youngsters know what I've encountered. You know the worst thing, bro? You in a room with somebody or a room with a group of people. And you leave out the room and you don't really know if you if y'all Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like bro, that, that energy win. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. That probably was some fake shit. Yeah. So it's like I don't want to be in rooms like that. You run into that. Yeah, so, cause sometimes like how we just work. Right. But it's like if I walk out the room and I done dapped you up, I don't want to walk out thinking you gonna say some shit right. like, oh man, I don't fuck with buddy. Right. Like, that yeah. bitch. like yeah. no, nigga, don't you don't have to work with niggas if you don't fuck with them. Simple. 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 Who you you got comedy smoke? No, nah, I ain't got no comedy smoke. But you that's the thing. I don't be around. If I do, you don't know. I don't know. They probably don't fuck with me. <laughs> Cause there's certain calls you should get. Like there's an ecosystem of money being spent, bro. Mm -hmm. This is what creates, right? I expect people with no understanding not to have an issue with how things are rolling. Right? Because when you don't understand the ecosystem attached to these opportunities and the money and the financial gain and the certain certain pathways that's being created by way of opportunity, then you don't have any business with a dog in the fight. You don't even know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But when you understand that, yo, at this point, at this juncture, you should be able to be doing this, but that call isn't coming. Or they call for whatever reason y'all don't work together. Like, who's somebody out there that you feel as though you should be working with right now, you could work with right now, that you want to work with right now? Who I would want to work with right now? Um, I want to work. With, I want to work with Kevin Hart. Not saying, but you know, like. Sometimes you have shit on your bucket list, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people to work with and stuff like that. And it's just like, shit, you see that nigga work ethic and shit like that type of shit. Right. But it, other than that, it's like, the people I'm already working with, bro. Right. So it's like, I don't even, I, I mentioned Kevin Hart just because, like, you know what I'm saying? You see the the shit he doing and the, yep. like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the type of like, okay, boom. That'll be dope. But if it don't, I ain't tripping either. Right. Because it's like, the people that I'm organically working around, I think these niggas is dope and funny. They do you might not tour be by yourself, huh? Do you tour by yourself? Uh, no. Nah, uh, Are you expected to do that? Do you want to do that ever? If it comes to it, you know what I'm saying. Right. It's like how we 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 just started the tour. Uh, me, Clay English, and Moneybag. We've been doing that tour, and that shit been dope. That's dope. So it'd be like, like how you mentioned that. The, the tribal essence of it. Right. Like being around other, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we cool. But do you, but see, that's why I, but I do have a certain respect for that nigga 
even though it's still tribal on all these shows, mm-hmm. right? It's still gotcha. it's still like a Dave Chappelle. Yeah. But boy, it's like he demands a certain energy out there. He a different type of nigga. Though. Yeah, man. And you know why I say he a different type of nigga? Like, bro, even with the craft that how he how he channel his craft. He'll he'll talk about it on like Oh, I, I got booed in this city and booed in that city. Like, he'll sit there and work his material, go places, and, like, he his work ethic. A lot of people talk about Kevin Hart work ethic. Dave Chappelle got a mean ass work ethic, too. That nigga be on stage every night. Doing. Yeah. Yeah. Two, three shows, they say he might leave somewhere and, and hit and just work on some shit. Yeah. He love comedy. He, he, a, he a prodigy. Yeah, yeah. He started when he was a 14. Are you afraid of that, though? Are you afraid to go by yourself out there as a comedian? Hell no. Yeah. I just got to get asses and seats. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. If I get asses and seats, I would have been How on tour. How do you do that? Man, shit, with the social media now, steady putting out content, building your own fan base. So a lot of shit I, I was doing with the shift leader, and that shit been catching fire on TikTok. Like, I, man, it's, bro, I, I, I'll be lying to you. I, I didn't even, wasn't ever putting shit on TikTok. Yeah. I'm on Instagram. Right. Because, shit, not that I'm, I ain't old, but shit, right. like, you know, learning something new, like, I ain't got time. You ain't know that him. shit. Yeah, yeah, you just ain't know him. Man, it's, yeah. it's a, uh, he probably like 22, 23 out of Memphis. Just start putting my videos on TikTok, made a page. Nigga, that shit booming. So I'm like, and you can get paid off. Yeah, yeah, but look, he getting paid. Yeah, he told me. Mm-hmm. I said, <laughs> he to, he told me because the nigga had me blocked at first. Yeah. I said, look, I don't want the money, bro. I said, what I need you to do, go cut the rest of them up, put the rest yeah. of the shit up because it's helping. Well, it's helping because, yeah. bro, people don't because he's like, I paid for marketing, keep the money. He hit me one time. He was like, man, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I gotta ask you for a favor. I'm like, what's up? He was like, somebody paying me to do a promo. I need you to uh, dress up and shift later and sit. I said, bro, you know what? I got you. Fuck with you. I yeah. got you. I That's did it for him. Uh, he bro- locked in forever now. This episode is brought to you by Prize Picks, the fantasy sports platform that's changing the game for people like us. With Prize Picks, you can test your knowledge with picking over and under for your favorite player stats across a wide variety of sports. Think football, baseball, basketball, and beyond. So why wait? Jump into Prize Picks right now and bring more excitement to game day. Whether you're cheering from the stands or the couch, Prize Picks adds that extra layer of fun for sports excitement. Again, my slogan, why would you put something on the game when you could put something on the name? Let's get into those picks and start winning with prize picks today. IUTP code. Let's get back to the show. Bro, listen, this is what I'm going to tell you this. He locked in forever about that. Yeah. This last Halloween that just passed, bro, it's so many people dressed up as the shift leader. So just imagine why I would have been on some whole shit with him, got the page yeah, too. See? Like, you know what I'm saying? People yeah. don't be realizing that. It's like, bro, it's people around me who ain't even think to put up my I could have had a homeboy who did that shit. Like, bro, you tripping TikTok. He chopped that shit up. Got the pages, the shit. Pop. He done start putting broken play shit on there. He hard. <laughs> he got hey bro, he work. That's dope. I don't know what he's he really gonna be. part of your team. Man, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to bro. <laughs> Shout out to bro. I be telling them young niggas, just go to work. I'm going to get you some, some money. Yeah. Hey, when it comes time, I'm going to find some. I'm like, I'm telling them, when we trying to do social media content, I'm like, y'all nigga tripping. I got a nigga. He'll figure this yeah, shit yeah, out. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Tell For people who don't know, tell them what the shift leader is. The shift leader, like, man, he a, a shift leader at McDonald's. But he, he feel like he own that motherfucker. You can't tell him he not, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He he the CEO. <laughs> he take it as that. Yeah. So it like, but it came from me just working a job and just seeing how people let a title just go to that. Bro, nigga, you make a dollar more than me. Relax. Bro, this that chill. That need to be on some other shit. Bro, I had a supervisor. We worked that damn the dome, the Georgia Dome before they changed the Mercedes Benz State. I'm fresh out of high school. Bro. Some days you might do housekeeping. Some days you might do goddamn setup. We got damn, 
we got to mop the flows like the little pathway before they go down the steps at the dome. So you're supposed to do three and change the mop water. Nigga, I might have went four or five. That nigga stopped me. That nigga said, you don't went too many. Nigga, you could eyeball mop water? <laughs> bro, I started looking. I said, boy, this can't be my life, bro. He said he could eyeball mop That water. nigga eyeball, man, that nigga looked at that shit. He said, oh, you went one too many. Ooh, that nigga, I said, boy, dang. you a bad motherfucker. And he was right. <laughs> but I said, damn, you a that bad motherfucker. That Cyclops. Boy, nigga. what? That nigga eyeball mop water. So a lot of that shit came from me working around him and then just got down. You don't know. I, I done got turned up fucking with that. Yeah, the, hey, man. So then. What was you? So how long you worked with that nigga? I worked with that nigga for That's funny. Work, man, bro, he was older than us. That nigga Curtis might have been, at the time I was 19, that nigga probably was like 52. Like, he might do some shit like this. He'll bet us on the games. We lose, we come get him, get him you know, get him money. That nigga, he'll, he'll lose. That nigga one time paid me in bed sheets. So, you know, I look at a nigga like an old uncle, old granddad. Well, like, nigga, you cheating the fuck yeah, out of me, yeah, bro. Yeah. You think you got all the sick. That nigga got there working shit, get on the bus. What nigga? Yo. I said, boy, I can't do this shit. I start, I was like, boy, I got to get that the fuck out of That shit bled into you, though. Yeah. You done made a character out of that. Oh, what yeah. else? Was it just that? Uh, Yeah, just that. And then, like, seeing how people work at fast food. You know what I'm saying? I, had, I never worked at fast food. My first job was that, like yeah. working at the uh, Georgia Dome. I would have worked that fast food, but I, I know I would have been one of them niggas who didn't give a fuck about work stealing. Yeah. We had a homeboy who worked at McDonald's. <laughs> nigga, boy, we used to. I know, but he was a, a man, that nigga will go up there, that nigga load that bag up. We might have gave $4. That nigga load us up. We go to the house, play the game. Yeah, about. yeah. Niggas, everybody got them guys. Yeah, you know them. Yeah, yeah that real love shit. love them niggas till them niggas get so, fired. Yes. Yeah, so, hell yeah. Yeah. Then sometime, then after that, you know, like, we'll hear stories from that. Then when I once I started doing the shit leader, they were like, man, you need to talk about such and such when they do this and when they do that. So it's just like experiences and just yeah. regular. Yeah. I'm, I'm a part of it too, though. Yeah. I ain't too far away. That's Nigga, dope, I though. still now go to McDonald's just for shits and giggles yeah, and yeah, just yeah. look around. When the last time you did one of them shift leader joints? Shit, I did. The last time I recorded some was like in November because I knew I had to put some new ones out. Cause like, like I told you, after that scene, that shit on Halloween, I was like, but this shit, cause that, like I, how we were saying, like we get jaded from it, like tired from it, like, bro. I've been doing it, shift leader shit. I started off doing this shit in 2014, dog. Yeah. That's nine years. So it's like, damn, how much shit can this nigga go through? Why he still the shift leader? Right. But then after that- Because nigga still the shift yeah, leader. Yeah, after that TikTok resurgence. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say. Yeah. It's new motherfucker loving this yeah. shit, nigga. And it's they going still shit going this shit. Yeah. But Duval had to even tell me, he was like, you got to think. People growing up on that shit, too. You always, no matter what you do, you always going to be the shift leader too. Right. So, no, keep putting out that shit. So, yeah. sometimes I find myself like, I need to do that, but just being lazy, bro. What's the relationship with Lil Duval? Lil Duval, uh, man, what's so crazy, long Lil Clay. I met him through Clay Evans, that's tip manager, too. Right. So, uh, with Duval, I had did, um, his host, Nard, had, uh, was getting sick. So Duval asked me that I want to do some dates with him. I was like, hell yeah. Because, you know, like, growing up, Duval was a legend of us. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, Duval won the Duval was a legend anyway. I ain't yeah. going to say to us, but yeah. it's like, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. grew up on the Duval, watching Duval. So going around him, like, the nigga so smart, though. And when I say smart, like, you don't notice till you around certain people, you hear them talk about certain stuff. Right. Like, that nigga be knowing what's going on and... Just he'll give you game. Yeah. He ain't tripping. Same with Los. Yeah. Los will give Los will give anybody game. Yeah. And don't don't be looking for no no feedback back or need right. you to goddamn go out and say you did yeah, this nah, wrong. Nah. But it'd be like it's real people like that. When the last time he did a comedy thing? What you mean? Comedy special or something. Uh I think twenty twenty one. What's your take on, on comedy special? Comedy special it ain't special no more. It ain't. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason why, because, like, everybody, people could put it on any platform now. You remember at a certain time, it was like, 
the reason why they called it special because it was rare that somebody put it out. It was a piece of work that somebody worked on for a minute and then they finally put it out. Facts. Then you got somebody like Bernie Mac. We never seen a special from him. Wonder why. As dope as he was, he he got so many. You know he got the material, yeah, but it just was. Why? It was rare then when somebody would do specials. They did the Kings of Comedy. You know what I'm saying? That was dope. But just a one man show. We would have loved to see a special from Fucking Bernie Mac. Right. Yeah. Damn. I never thought about that. But specials like But man. you ain't fuck you don't care you don't really care if you get a Netflix special or no shit like that. Shit, boy, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> That's shit. what I'm saying. Yeah, I want one. Yeah. Shit, but <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. They, but they're a little yeah. more common now. Yeah, they're a little bit yeah. more. Hey shit. <laughs> hey, y'all watch what this. What you would call it though? Shit. You don't know. If it's on Netflix, I might call that shit Navflix. Yeah, I fuck with that or not. No, nah, what else? Yeah, you get it. Your think tank, though. You know, it take time. Yeah, to yeah. Or something. Yeah, I, I yeah. probably just shot a bullshit around. Yeah, you know what I mean? I figured that shit out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now nah, I think I think man, when I when I think about it, what you doing content like the shift leader? Was that just like an internet thing? Yeah, it was an internet thing. Are you making money off that, like, say, a country Wayne or Funny Marco? Right. Hell no. <laughs> now, why is that? What's the disconnect? So, like, with country Wayne, bro, that nigga, that nigga in a whole nother world when it comes to that social media shit. Like, bro, like, it's people, because we done, me and Moneybag, we played some characters on some uh, on a series he had on there. And, bro, it's a whole different audience. People might see us like, boy, I watch that every day. They watch it, like, faithfully. And, and I'm going to tell you this. He have a fan base where there's no cursing on there. So older people and people on Facebook, they'll watch it. They'll feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? I could share this on my page and laugh. Well, I ain't got to worry about people that I work with Playing taking that offense. Work and stuff yeah, like I could do all that type of stuff. That's so it's cool. like, yeah, so like he able to monetize and get that money off that and people like, you know what I'm saying? So it's different. But, but it's the like ecosystem though. Because I believe Funny Marco is in that ecosystem. I believe Desi Banks is in that ecosystem. Mm -hmm. There's people in that social media skit ecosystem and then there's people on the outside of it. Yeah. Right? You just happen to be Good enough to make money from pardon, from comedy with 85 and y'all doing that, mm -hmm. from auditions. But there's other people like, say, a fat boy SSE or Queens Flip type guys. They don't, they may make money now, like SSE raps. Flip is on Joe Budden. But without that, they live in that skid world. But I'm not sure if they have been introduced to that. Though, them guys are monetizing. If you watch Desi Banks drop a blog immediately after he goes live, he's telling his live to go on there. Hey, yo, get under that. Hey, tag 10 p Hey, get under that. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Then he go under there and comment under. Yeah. So he's doing, he's understanding. I'm in this system that I need to run these numbers through there. Man, he told Why me one time. Isn't that the case for you, though? See, okay, for one, the shift leader, it's a lot of cussing in the shift leader. Like uh, <laughs> they they monetize. Cussing. Yeah, but I'm saying with me, I was top. And like, you can bleep cussing out. I ain't bleeping that shit, nigga. For fifty thousand a month, they who getting fifty thousand a month? Them is low numbers. If a nigga getting a million two, say say them niggas is getting nigga like Desi Banks, them getting a million views on it, two, three, four hundred thousand likes, mm -hmm. and it's in ad sponsorships and in ad. Revenue in it, bro. And then he got a series of it. Here's another trick they're doing: when they upload it, add it to a playlist. So right after that, it go right to another yeah, to one. To another. So if you like this one, you gonna keep watching it. If you don't touch your phone, mm -hmm. it'll keep going, nigga. You done now you, I'm all in your algorithm. You don't spend eight minutes on my shit. Now it's nigga time. might put that motherfucker on before they got in the shower. That shit still going. So you've had conversations with Desert Banks and these guys. Why why isn't it? Why don't you think that information or you think it's the content? Not not so much the content. Like, that's why you remember it was a, a time where people were going against 
stand-up comedians, how you feel about people who do comedy on social media and they were going against each other. People don't realize, bro, that shit on social media not easy. That shit is work. That shit is an art in itself. To continuously come up with content every day, put your content out, know how to edit and put it out, but to put it out for a viewership, that shit ain't easy. And you can't make these people engage. Bro, that shit is work. Getting the followers up and getting them to engage is a different thing. So getting be- them to like is a different thing. Getting them to comment, getting mm-hmm. them to share, getting them to bookmark. These are different things. So to be real with you, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's more work than anything. So do you believe... How much do you believe Des and them to be making? You don't think they... I I know they making stupid amount of money off this shit. Bro. You said you worked with Country Wayne before. Mm-hmm. What was your character over there? We did... Uh, we worked with the vending machine with Mike. Hit, uh, Mike Bless over there. Shout out to him. We worked on that with him. Yeah. Do you ever ask them about that, though? Like, yo, man, maybe I can take the shift leader, bring it in your world. Yo, Desi Bank, let me pop up over there, shift leader. We do one right quick. You come in, McDonald's, your character, Black Forces, whatever you doing, I'm shift leader. I kick you out or I, you know, give you cold for whatever it is. Like, do you ever think about collabing like that with those guys? It was a time where, like, that shit was heavy, like, with us collabing. But, like, I just was saying, I don't be doing that shit enough to even be saying it. I'm bullshitting on my own okay. with that type of stuff, like, taking it. It's like, why though? Bro, I kind of like was doing that shit so long. <laughs> like, gotta think, like, I start, we started that shit when we was doing the 2014. Like, we was uh, with Ratchet People Meet. It was me, DC, E Man Hudson, Marco Lavelle, Erica Dutch, like, all us around Moneybag, uh, Philip Hudson. All us would just do skits. So it's like, but they were for free or to get your name up. Now yeah, that's true. money for it. Mm-hmm. These niggas driving Rolls Royces and shit, and a nigga just sitting back saying, yo, I just I don't know. I just don't feel like doing it. It's money being left on the field fucking with that. Yeah, and you know what come with that too? What? A lot of bullshit. Yeah, it could. <laughs> it could. But you done put the work in already, and you got the character. It's already in the world. It's already mm-hmm. in the algorithm. To not build on that is like if you were signed to somebody that was like, like Hollywood type shit, they would develop that character. Yeah, and make it a TV show. Next or thing, movie. you yeah, know, stuff. yeah. Next thing, but you, but see, that's the thing. I think all of those guys are trying to head towards is like some of these characters getting plucked off social media and brought into the big screen, you know, role mm-hmm. because you look at these things. Where's this era's blank man? Where's this era's? In there, that shit. Man, we just did, um, when you get a chance, check it out. Departments. I was looking, at, I seen that. I seen some clips of that. Yeah. That motherfucker look good. Yeah, look that's Who all in that? Um, J. Ski, Duval, DC, Carlos, Tip directed it. Um, Tyler Chronicles, Running Joint. Uh, damn, Tip had everybody. Tokyo, both of the Tokyo. Um, that's hard. Yeah, he put that shit together. It looked good too. Yeah. That's hard. You put that motherfucker together. Yeah. How long it take to film that? It took about two weeks. That's cool. And it, it first was it was gonna be like a TV show, episodic. But then with everybody scheduling, it was hard to goddamn. He was like, we could turn this shit into a movie. And like he really was hands on with that shit. What did you grab from the Cat Williams interview? Bruh. The biggest thing, being happy with, with, with what you're doing and what you got. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I say that is like how somebody could be watching. You know when he said somebody will go right now and look at my net worth. And I got that on me right now. But you could just tell a lot of people calling him bitter. He went bitter. You could tell he happy. He content. Yeah. And I get a lot of stories. I mean, that's that's. Up. Oh, he look out for a, he look yeah. Out for a lot of people, but people took that like he was taking shots. A lot of people responded. Um, but he even said that a lot of them people that came and did the interview, 
they talked about him first. He would come right. back. Because you could, he ain't even got damn really, they ain't really introduce him. Introduce him. Yeah. He sat right, right down. Out. Boy, I got some shit to say. Yeah. But that's like what it be like. But 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 also, but that's what it be like when you a thinking man, right? When you sit in the back cave and you 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 look at the field. Mm -hmm. I'm always looking at the field, right? And that's why I can say what they've done, what they've been paid for, what it's worth. You see, I'm speaking about Des and I don't do comedy. I don't even do social media mm -hmm. content like that. But I'm I'm I recognize value in the market over there. I see it. With streaming, I see it. With all the TikTok stuff, I see it. With the replay value, the characters, I see it. You know, because what happens is for us, for this era to have that Friday kind of movie, we're going to have to unfortunately pull from our social media characters. Definitely. We are not going to be able to just draw characters up like they did with Smokey and Big Worm. These will have to naturally be internet characters like mm -hmm. the shift leader, like a Crip Mac. Like a, you know, the Friday is gonna if it comes together for this era and do do what it needs to do for comics. It gotta, it's gonna gotta be from, from a social media standpoint yeah. of characters that's living like the Country Wayne character, like Parlay with Desi Banks. Mm -hmm. This will now become this era's Friday, but people have to continue to develop those characters alongside each other. That's why I think the opportunity for you and that shit because you'll be upset looking up in a year now two years and some young comic come up, you inspired, and now he's doing that. What are you doing, the shift leader? Yeah, and <laughs> now he's going to another level. Now he's hey, next. look, the whole time you see how I was saying, like, yeah, man, just shit, man, time. When you said another nigga doing it, now hold up, nigga. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's different, That's what I'm saying, because you're going to see him. Nigga, I'll be, I be just like how Cat was on that camera, on that couch, nigga. I'm like, hold up, nigga. <laughs> so... I'm saying, man. Nah, you definitely right though. Sometimes it it like sometimes people don't be realizing sometimes you gotta hear certain stuff in like conversations and like certain stuff where we see something, we don't realize it could be bigger. Because you're looking at it from a talent perspective. I'm always like I'm an innovator and a producer kind of nigga anyway. So I'm saying, yo, this era needs our Friday for us to elevate those comics to that level that cat and Ricky and all, all them, them boys niggas got, went yeah. to mm -hmm. after that. We need that. And so when I, I said, how can we do that? We You're not going to be able to do that the old-fashioned way. Everybody come in, audition. We got this list of characters. It needs to be more palatable for the consumer. And the consumer, the shift leader has an audience. Mm -hmm. Parlay has an audience. The Country Wayne character has an audience. You see what I'm saying? DC. He has an audience as himself in that mm -hmm. world, in that social media, in that world that Desi and them live in, DC and them lived in on Vine. Yeah. For real. So you got to remember, and for me, if I'm looking at it as a producer or as just these individuals, I say, yo, keep developing these characters on social media, making the little thousands that come with it. But at some point... So one of us is going to put together something and draw from all of this out there. And now I'm putting this in the universe. Yeah. Somebody going to, yo, just pay me or just let me be involved in that. Cause I just put you put something. Yeah, you're a there. consultant. Yeah. yeah. I just put <laughs> you that You got to be there. on set. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Because I believe the shift leader interacting with the Desi character, like that's our era's Friday if it's done right. Mm -hmm. With your Crip Max, with your guys, this the Joker dude from Miami. Like you got to pull from the whites and – you got to pull yeah, from yeah. every, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and we can do that. And I for this think era. somebody like Drewski showing us that with pulling Drews from the whites. He just do think his character in there, the Drewski, the shift leader, the, oh my, this shit can be like, yo, if everybody just don't be greedy mm -hmm. and just but say, you, fuck the money, let's do what Ice Cube and them done. And you know how easy it is to say that, though? I know it. <laughs> Cause niggas, niggas are doing on cameo tip, but I'm talking about yo, we gotta dedicate some time. Yeah, time. Everybody take out this this block of time. Let's do this. But then you know what? I will say this: watching that Cat Williams, another thing. Like, bro, I'm glad it ain't so much of this. If, if it is, you know what I'm saying? It's, you don't see it as much though, bro. Like people, you'll see people working with each other, showing niggas love. So I, I will say, and this this era kind of different. From what that. is showing love though? 
Uh, when I say y'all so, are different with the 85 South, I think you're talking from privilege because I'm saying getting money together is showing love. And I think we've confused the culture far too long with the showing love with the picture or showing love with the repost. I'm saying, yo, it, yo, bro, tell me how I can monetize my mm. shift leader thing. Yo, Teach show me, me what fish. I can do. That's, that's what love is. Mm-hmm. I ain't saying we we co-workers, we work together, but I'm talking about we've confused this love thing. This era, and I think dudes like Cat is coming out saying that, saying, yo, that ain't love y'all seeing. Y'all thinking niggas showing love, but let me tell you, da 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 you got to da 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 and you got to da 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 just to get in there. And niggas like, damn, I thought they were showing love. But you think it's love. You think people showing love in this era. Yeah. Because you from 85. Yeah, and you, like you said, I could be looking at it from a privileged standpoint. But it's like people working with each other, though. Who? A lot of them work with each other. You, you'll you see, it was a time where I seen Country Wayne and Desert working with each other. I don't Them seen, the tycoons, though, it makes sense. Yeah. Which I just said, sharing ain't giving everything for nothing. Yeah, like it's, So that makes sense. Okay. Then you might see Fly and Drewski working with each other. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, yeah. <laughs> so... When I'm going to see you and Desi, you, this is what I'm saying, though. You see what I'm saying? This so, is what I'm saying because this is when I believe that it to make sense. Like sometimes with the podcast thing, with interviews, she be like, yo, it makes sense to sit down with Loon. Why, why they ain't doing it? Don't I don't get it. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying when will I see you introduced in those scenarios? See, but it. Okay, for me, I be looking at it from a different standpoint. All the names I done mentioned, they done did the podcast. You see what I'm saying? Thanks. So it's like it's love. Yeah, so that's why I say they show love. Yeah. But it's like to a point of like, bro. And you really not interested in that character no more. No, I ain't saying that. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga that said I wouldn't want. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> We got to make this shit bigger than life. Yeah, for real, <laughs> Go bro. put a movie behind yeah. this shit. But no, I, and I think those guys show up because their appearance on the show means a lot. Yeah. But I think them dudes be to be a wealth of information. Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm saying. So what I understand what you you saying right now is like, what are, what are you taking from those situations? Right. Because like even then, we could look at it as rap. So if somebody come and do you, your podcast or you do it, like, but that's a big feature. Right. So I like me understand. coming on here, like, but it's a big feature right. for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I'm on I'm on Loom podcast. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's like that's how I be taking it from, like I'm thinking strictly talent. Right. When you thinking on the side of like yes. what you could get from Because that, the, the that, reason yeah. why, because what separates you and those guys is not talent. Mm-hmm. That's the whole play. What separates you and those guys is the business. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what. That's what's making it. You just hit that shit right on the head. You see what I mean? That's why when they come around, you got to pay attention to the business. I know they watching this saying he right, bro. Mm-hmm. Right now they looking at saying bro right. Damn. They done told the, he done told the nigga to see. No, nah, because they no nah, talking it. shit. I, yeah, <laughs> I think they respecting it from a standpoint saying that's a hundred percent right because. Mm-hmm. You say something? Uh, because look what I'm doing with my business. That's the only thing separates us because now funny in a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like I'm funny. He even got a content dude. He even got a social media. This nigga can do layers of it just like me. Right. Country Wayne said he ain't even interested in going on the road. He, But you don't. What a, shit, he shouldn't. The <laughs> ecosystem of a motherfucker he, he done built. And look. Even when you go over there and like, you know what I mean, do skits with them and stuff, you get money. Yeah. Yeah, he ain't they ain't no no yeah. no shit with you know what I'm saying? Like, this for exposure. Even though it's big exposure, they making sure you get paid too. That's good. Though. Yeah, so he ain't like I, I will get him and Mike credit and Chase Walker, like them boys, they Yeah, I, f- I fuck with Country Wayne, man. I yeah. think what he do, what he stand for is been cool. Would you date a comic? I think he dated just hilarious. Would I date a comic? Mm-hmm. What you consider day? Like going public with them, being with them. Shit. Going public for sure. <laughs> yeah, for a little while. For a little while. <laughs> yeah. You ain't trying to go public. You ain't. Cause it's like. You into public relationships or no. you ain't into that? Uh-uh. That's why I say. I'm, uh, why not? Shit, I ain't into public shit. 
I feel you. <laughs> Take my ass to the house. <laughs> So right now, so I'm saying for the women watching, are you single? What are you doing? Like, just hit me up, man. Just hit you up. <laughs> nah, I'm just talking shit. Just like, nah, I got. I'm with my baby mama. You with your baby yeah, mama? Baby. How many kids you got? We got. Uh, we got two. Them the only two you got. Far as I know, that nigga didn't sound sure did it. Really. I said far as I know. Yeah. Nah, I, but nah, man, it's like I just be feeling like. The world we living in with the relationship, bro, I feel like social media fucking that shit up. Man. It is, bro. And when I say that, bro, you be seeing what, what they be talking about on social media. They be like, what women expect out of men, what men. Like, bro, everything ain't for everybody. Man, they done confuse motherfuckers I love. I was slick mad at the social media shit for a while. I said, bro. Man, they done got my bitch. <laughs> them what kind of they start tricking my <laughs> Yeah, Kanye went told me it's Instagram, Instagram got, got your bitch. bitch. <laughs> That's who got your bitch. I look up my gas star hollering narcissistic. Yeah. I said, what where that come from? I know what schools and shit you went to. Yeah. You start calling me what? I'm a And I done took care of everything. They done tricked you into belief. Oh, so they oh Lord, I can't fight it. I'm I'm hustling yeah. too hard. I can't uh -huh. you got it confused. Man, you just hit that shit right on the head. Like, that's their favorite word now, narcissist. Why? Because I'm not going to stand. Like, I'm standing for something? What I'm supposed to Cause, do? Cause, cause I'm telling you, you can't you can't say shit nowadays, bro. That's fucked up, bro. When I start speaking on something, oh, no, everything got to go your No. I'm just telling you this how it is. Yeah, why wouldn't it not go my way? <laughs> is we talk, hold on now. I would hope she want things to go her way. And Man. I would hope we meet at an intersection. Shh. While things going my way, things are going your way. And then you be seeing the motherfuckers in the comments, oh my God, couldn't be me. You ain't got no nigga. And you'll leave your nigga for me. Yeah, bro, even with the, when they be talking about who pay the bills and all that type of stuff, bro, whatever works for your household. Whatever works for your you household. You paying the bills or what? Yeah, I'm paying the bills. Because niggas will say, they got women now demanding that they pay the bills. This is something Chad just said, and it way is weighing on me. He said that men, we going to always do the financial label. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, the regular label. But women have to show up with the emotional label. And what he was saying was that together that makes our family whole. Women tend to believe sometimes they can just show up as is and not do any work. You see what I mean? Thinking because they don't have to work in the same way I work that they need to be invisible as it pertains to work. That ain't the case. Right. What needs to happen is you need to be doing emotional labor and I'll handle everything else. Mm. You see what I mean? And that's where I think. Loon, I'm going to tell you this, bro. It it done got to a point you remember like maybe growing up or what we might thought was us financially that ain't even enough for women no more. Wow. And you know why I say that, man? Not too long ago, me and my baby mom we we having a dispute. So she told me this. She was like, "Well, take away." She was like, "You say you you pay the bills. You saying you you paying the mortgage." Take that, take that out of the equation. Why the fuck we taking that out of the equation? Yeah, that ain't nothing small. Me. Yeah, that's a trick. <laughs> but okay, we take that out of the equation. So then she was like, "So what? Like, what? What did you do for this? What did you do for me on this?" Okay, I was like, "Okay, now if I use that, because you 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 bring up, you know, I pay for the daycare, all this type of stuff." I said, "Okay, now take you cooking and cleaning." Cause, Cause you said I would have to pay mortgage and pay bills whether I stayed by myself. You would have to cook and clean if you stayed by yourself. So take that out of the equation. What do you do? Ooh, see. So that sometimes, but if I say that, so I guess I don't do But you just told me I don't yeah, do shit. And here go the trick. But that's social media. Yeah. And see, that's when Instagram then captured my gas. Yeah. A lot of you niggas gals is captured. Instagram got your gal mind. She coming in there with that. She done start calling you shit. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing with that. I believe that 
women and men have to understand that the trick is even doing that, even being, having, even having to be here to have this conversation about what I do and if we subtract this. And yeah, yeah. We already in the we trick We already bag. losing. We yeah. already behind the eight ball. <laughs> yeah. We, so we shouldn't even be talking about this. What is we But doing? you know why we talking about this? Because we both. And you done been captured. Yep. They describing they heartbreak about a nigga they possibly done took back by now. Mm -hmm. And you just seeing this clip six months ago, and now it done affected your real relationship for a nigga been holding you down for 10 years. Right. And now everything relationship goes to they break up. Everybody wanted that car to be offset relationship. Mm. All of them, young Miami P. Diddy. My man, uh, we, we go together. We go together real bad. Yeah, I ain't seen a bitch say that yet. They stop saying that shit now, ain't it? Yeah, you don't go to you don't go together real bad with the motherfucker no more. So that's how that shit. Be. Social media, a bitch, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you, social media, a bitch. You, you sit down with therapists? Sometimes, not in real life. I I talked to him on the show. I had oh, one okay, on okay. the show before, but I don't know, man. I don't know if they can help me. How you feel about therapy, bro? It's like I feel like. I'm going to say this, like, as men, bro, I don't think we able to vent. I don't need no therapist to figure shit out for me. Just listen. Because you know why I just brought that up? Because when you just said how Chad was saying about the emotional labor, women don't listen no motherfucking more. Mm -mm. I don't need you to solve shit. Hell no. Nah. You can't solve shit on your own. <laughs> Damn. Just I had listen. a motherfucker tell me one time, I want to tell you, see, I'm very aware. I just talk slow because I'm from the South. Right. But boy, if they take this, I got they in the trick bag. If they take the slow talking for being dumb, I got them. Mm -hmm. I might talk even slower. And they got them right. <laughs> yeah. And I keep the dreads and the necklaces. Boy, this is a, I'm on you niggas' head. But guess what? So I had a motherfucker, a, a girl one time tell me, uh, don't you think you need to be going over to your sisters? I said, you don't even give me no recommendation. <laughs> you don't give me no recommendations about my time. That don't affect you, what I do with. You dig? Yeah. You need to focus on things that affect you and I. It, you telling me that you done got into the woods with this thing. I had to check her like, yo, you done went too far with this thing. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Now you over here telling me what I should do on my time. You know I don't respond to nothing like that. But if I'm not aware, most men are not aware that they should not even be doing that. So here they come trying to explain. Not knowing that, yo, that it ain't never a problem. She going to just switch the problem. Mm-hmm. She gonna just, once you solve that one, well, this, this is the new problem. Well, you need to be, we don't got no business over here. Loon, I'm gonna tell you something else, bro. When you start speaking on that thing, women can speak on a million things you do wrong or what men do wrong. They could go up and have a whole list on social media. Soon as you say something, say, say me and you having this conversation right. Oh, damn, they don't like women. Why y'all keep jumping? <laughs> Why they gotta be the go to? Cause we, if we could, call, we can't call, we can't say nothing. If they look at me and, and get energy that I don't like, no, I'm saying that. Well, I'm I just said, saying about me I know, just, but the yeah. conversation does give that to women who don't understand perspective, mm -hmm. right? So I'm saying to the women that's listening, if you even think it gives that, you need to go see a, a, a doctor, <laughs> a, a mind, a head doctor immediately, because I ain't never giving nothing, but I love women, love them. That's how we here. I'm loving women, like, for sure, for sure. So, now, my critique of women don't come from a hateful place. <laughs> yeah. It come from the fact that I got to deal with women. You don't. You can't take constructive criticism. What kind of shit y'all got? I be in a dictatorship. I just got to accept what they give me. Hey, what, what, what's that? That is what it's called in them countries. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just accept it. Don't say nothing yeah. about it. You can't do nothing. What's it? About democracy it. and the other one is a what? Dictatorship. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I, you know, I it's, it's what I feel. I just I don't know, man. What anything you want to talk about? Shit, I think. What's on your mind? I think all that flowed perfectly. Yeah, it did, man. Like, cause 
Even when we we were talking about, well, we went to Cat Williams and we just flowed right into that. They ain't had shit yeah, to do with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but that's just, that's yeah, how it go. Yeah, that's the conversations, man. Even the, even Nigel behind the camera, nah, he, he, he started speaking about yeah, that women shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Man, I'm going through the same shit. What men be? Wow. Well, it's just like, bro, you know how you might be talking to your homeboy, you say something, man. Oh, lady, did. boy. It be like they be ready to yeah, say, hey, because bro, let me going, call you right back. God damn, I ain't know you going to do all that shit. Yeah, nigga dump it on you. <laughs> yeah. You ain't even mean to do all that. <laughs> My bad, nigga. You done hung up on your girl. That's what I be talking about. She badly. He said, yeah, man, bitches ain't shit. <laughs> he done went all the way down there. Man, I thought about killing mine. <laughs> oh, nigga, man. what? This bitch just didn't take out nothing yeah, for the yeah. heat. Nigga. nigga, I was just Woo. dead. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Yeah, but niggas going through hell. But silently, men are going through hell, though. Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas in relationships they don't want to be in, whether they say it or not. Mm -hmm. Feel I, like they got to do the right thing. I know for niggas the in prison, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know niggas in prison. Lockdown. Them niggas there. I be hollering free cuck cuck. <laughs> cuck cuck and them in prison with the bitch, man. Man. You feel me? It's rough. It's rough, man. But I think we had a great conversation, man. No, nah, for sure. I think we had a great conversation. This up there podcast. I'll see y'all next week. Let's get it. Thanks for watching this clip from It's Up There podcast. To see the rest of the interview, click one of the boxes on the screen. Also join Discord and Patreon to be in our community.